All right, so you trust a moving company with everything you own, and what happens when that trust is broken? Tonight, the owner of a Colorado moving company faces felony theft charges in Denver and Weld counties. He's accused of holding people's belongings hostage. Consumer investigator Jacqueline Allen has been exposing this company for years. Well, we still get regular calls, and arrest affidavits show Contact Denver 7's coverage helped push this investigation forward. So let's give you some context. In 2018 and 19, we reported on AM Mover several times. They're owned by a man going by Adam or David Zoda. April 2021, David Zoda turned up again. A Longmont cancer survivor told us her family heirlooms were being held hostage by his new company, H&M Moving. Well, with Contact Denver 7's help, in May, she picked up her belongings from a storage unit and a criminal investigation was launched into what had gone wrong. Now, in July, a family moving to Texas reached out again, saying their belongings had also been held hostage by H&M. Again, after our reporting, they also got the keys from David Zoda to pick up their things from storage. Now, finally, this past November, records show Greeley police seized dozens of storage units rented by Zoda, returning the items to their owners. Now, that brings us to this week with this mover finally being held accountable. How many of you feel like you were ripped off by H&M moving? Oh, absolutely. Definitely. For sure. Misery loves company. This is just nuts. But this group of people all hired David Zoda. She's like, he's in jail. He's in jail. And are feeling a little less miserable now. Just to know that they finally got him and that he can't do this to anyone else. An arrest affidavit obtained by Contact Denver 7 shows Hussein Namat Zoda, a.k.a. David Zoda, is accused of taking off with people's belongings disappearing for weeks, even months, eventually demanding thousands of dollars for delivery or just pick up at a storage unit. Who wants that stuff? Nobody but me. All my ornaments, all my Christmas stuff. We were there last year when Record State Greeley Police seized two dozen storage units rented by Zoda, returning items held hostage to his customers, including Ann and Mark Anderson. We're there if we're needed to testify or anything. After months of investigations, Weld County DA Michael Rourke is moving forward with charges of felony theft. What kind of a message does it send that your office is charging the owner of a moving company? Well, I hope what the message is is that if you violate the law, you're going to be held accountable. Most of these former customers tell me they've given up on getting their money back, but not on getting justice. I just want them in jail and I will be there. I will be out front jumping up and down and hooting and hollering. Hooting and hollering. Now, Zoda did not respond to our request for comment, but he is bonded out of jail. He's due in court next month. Now, listen to this. The Denver DA just announced also felony theft charges there are well against him as well. And today they're asking any other victims to contact their economic crimes unit. They have yeah. the list going, don't they? No My kidding. Gosh. Great Dozens work, of people. Yeah.